Hello everyone and welcome to Monday. It's August 17th, 2020 and welcome to the Day Weather Podcast. Well, the hot high pressure remains. It's an extremely strong, extremely hot, hot high pressure over the western United States. Record temperatures yesterday across the Great Basin and areas west of the divide are areas that are just baking in the heat. And unfortunately, this is going to continue for the rest of the week. However, we do see subtle changes later on. High pressure will remain very strong through the week, keeping those temperatures in the Rockies, the Great Basin, the Pacific Northwest and the West Coast extremely hot, while the rest of the nation to our east isn't nearly as hot. Now, we do see some very modest temperature relief at the end of the week. Key word here is modest. No really big drop in temperature coming. Now, we will see some thunderstorm activity mid to late week and over the weekend, as we are going to see some moisture come on in. It's not that there hasn't been thunderstorm activity in the high plains and Rockies over the last few days, but it's been focused more out on the eastern plains and central plains. Just very hard with this strong high ridge of high pressure to get any rain producing thunderstorms going. That's going to be the case today and tomorrow. Look at this high pressure ridge. What's impressive here is look at the colors. It's centered right here over southwest Utah. The 600 area that you see right here, you don't usually get high pressure ridges that have that 600 label in terms of strength. It happens, but that is an intense ridge of high pressure. So you can see why temperatures yesterday were 110 to 120 degrees, especially in this area here, as the hot high pressure barely keeps the air moving. So you just recycle the desert heat under the sun. Now there is some moisture trickling into this area of high pressure eventually, and we'll show you that here in a minute. But as the jet stream goes up and around and builds this mountain of high pressure over the west, notice how the jet stream dips, bringing cooler air to the eastern side of the United States. So the heat is really all in the western plains underneath these bright red colors here. And even with the clockwise flow of air coming in from the northwest, east of the divide, the trajectory of the air is still being brought up from the deserts and into the high plains east of the divide. So west of the divide is where it's just going to sizzle. East of the divide, it's going to sizzle, but not quite as much. Now, this is the high pressure pattern and the jet stream pattern for today. This is why we have so much fire activity going on. These are the smoke plumes as of early today. You can see Colorado, lots of wildfire activity. So some very dense haze conditions here from the fires. Also the fires across parts of the Great Basin and new fires in Southern California, all causing that smoky haze in the region. Now, by the end of the week, this is by Thursday, notice the high pressure begins to weaken. It's not nearly as strong. We actually have a tropical system out here in the Pacific. So there is a weakening temporarily of the high pressure. We've got this area here bearing down on the region as well. So there's going to be, as we get to the end of the week and the weekend, modest, modest temperature relief and a little bit of moisture will be trickling into the region as well. However, by 10 days out, by August 27th, the high pressure is growing again, but it's further east. Further east means we will get a little bit of subtropical moisture back in, but there isn't in the next 10 days any strong cold front, anything to really cool us off. While we're going to bake today and tomorrow, modest temperature relief by the end of the week and the weekend, but not big relief. Now let's talk moisture. This is the precipitable water forecast for today. Right underneath that high, look at the dryness. However, we have a little patch of green here out on the plains, which could mean a few thunderstorms today and Tuesday in the central and northern plains here. Look at this blue and green coming into the Pacific Northwest. Now this isn't a rain forecast. This is just available moisture. And the blue and the green means above normal available moisture. This moisture is gonna rotate clockwise around the high like this. So as the high continues, but weakens some, we're gonna see some of this moisture come in during the second half of the week. This is by Wednesday, and this is by next Wednesday and Thursday. It comes on in. So certainly this is not a widespread pattern of rain, but what it is is a slight weakening in the high pressure pattern. 
at the end of the week in the weekend into early next week that will lend itself to some shower and thunderstorm activity over the high plains and Rockies. It's not going to be enough to bust the drought. It's not going to be enough to erase the dryness, but it's going to help alleviate the severe heat and dryness that we have going on right now. Here's the precipitation forecast through Friday and Saturday. And you can see even on the western slope, some of that moisture comes in. So there is going to be some shower and thunderstorm activity. Of course, I have to say that this is not necessarily a good thing, especially as you get west of the divide, because as you know, thunderstorms will produce lightning and that could set off more fires. Let's hope not. But the higher humidity air and at least some chances of wetting rains from some showers and thunderstorms by the end of the week, the weekend, and early next week should help the firefighting efforts. But for the first half of this week, it's going to be a tough battle underneath that strong and hot ridge of high pressure. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you on Tuesday.